Okay. Yes. Miso carbonara. Figuring it out as I go. Last time I made miso carbonara, it was too salty, not enough miso flavor, and not enough garlic flavor, and needed freshness. I'm gonna add scallion to freshen it up a little bit. Um, I think as a topping. Probably nice for the visual aspect as well. All right, I'm gonna let these sit in water to take the edge off, to make them a little less harsh. Do we have an onion? Shmeji mushrooms. So my phone stopped recording, but basically this is a concoction of white miso, shiro miso, sake, mirin, and soy sauce. Your typical Japanese ingredients. Um, and then I'm gonna throw this on the, the sear pork gel that I'm gonna cook up. Uh, the pork gel just has been seasoned, so nothing special. Let's cook it up. So into that same pan, we're gonna add some butter. Add your veggies. And now we're gonna add some garlic. Well, I have the mushrooms and the onions and the garlic going over here. Starting to boil my pasta water. We're gonna under salt it a little bit because everything else that goes in here is gonna be salty. So that's all done. We're gonna take it off the heat and let it sit. And wait for the pasta to cook. So while the pasta is cooking, let's prepare the cheese part of the carbonara. Parmigiano, Reggiano, the main guy. He's gonna be part of the emulsion. All right, so that's 30 grams on the dot. We're gonna go with one egg, yolk, and white, because I feel like it. Um, maybe the egg whites will Help me do something. I don't typically, carbonara is really made with just yolks, but we'll see how this goes. More miso. Yeah, you got the funk of the miso in there, so this is ready. We're gonna slightly undercook this so that we can finish it in the sauce. So while this is finishing up, we're gonna put this back on the heat. Add our pork. Let's get this heated back up. Scrape off all the things on the bottom. Okay, pasta is done. We're going to temper this cheesy egg mixture for a little bit. Lower this. It's a low temp. All right, be fast here because this comes together very quickly. We're looking for a glossy finish. Almost there. Do a little taste. Could use a little bit more salt. So we're gonna add that. Okay. I added a little bit more cheese to thicken it up. So. Probably another five, seven grams, so 35 grams in total. Yeah. All right, let's plate it up. And there you go. That is my second iteration of a miso carbonara. Looks pretty good. See how it tastes. It smells incredible, actually. That is Not like anything I've ever tasted. 
Okay, um, it's very rich and it's very deep. Like you're not lacking in any umami flavor here, but it is very Parmigiano forward. I would like to see more of the miso and honestly, even more acidity. Let's see if more lemon juice helps. But if you're asking me if this is good or not, yeah, this is, this is great. Am I satisfied with it? Absolutely. Can it be any better? Yeah, of course. But I think that's good for part two. To be continued, honestly, yeah. We'll see how much better we can get. Cheers. Yeah.